But would you like to tell me who you are? Um, do you want to know my married name? Or? Tell me your married name, first name. Oh, I'm name. Lucy McCormick, and I live in Ottawa, Canada. And, and who were um, you before you got married? Lucy Kelly from Stranaclay, Ellis. And you love her? Where do you live now? I live in Ottawa, Canada. And um, I'm there. I'm going to be there actually uh, 40 years now in November. So. And could you tell me any any stories you have there or memories of the other school? I guess my greatest memory is being left-handed and that not being at all accepted by the teacher uh, in the school. Uh, the teacher was my aunt and she was certainly against it, but I think there was some prodding from the rest of the family thinking that I should change, that I could easily change from being uh, left-handed to right-handed, which was uh, quite impossible for me. I remember that as holding me back. At least I blame this for holding me back from um, sewing class, which I was pretty horrible in. And um, I used to get, I remember being so confused about my hands that I didn't know which hand I was supposed to make the sign of the cross with. <laughs> you know, I was like, right, left, or what, you know, it was, it was to that stage. So I'm sure that doesn't go on anymore. That was one of the things. Well, what hand are you writing with? Right? I, I still write with the right hand, but everything else I do with the left hand. So my, my family says my writing's so horrible now. So I said, oh, well, likely that's something to do with it. Um, the other thing I remember well is going at lunchtime over to my uncle's to pick up the milk for the teacher's tea. And um, I remember they had really cross dogs. And once I was running with the dogs and I spilled the milk and I got in wicked trouble when I went back to the school because it was a good jug of milk and a jug of milk those days meant something. Um, so I was really in trouble over that. I guess the other great thing I remember is at the end of the day at uh, three o'clock giving the tig the up the road kids would give the tig to the down the road children and that was always a kind of a fight. Whoever was the fastest runner was left to give the tig and the rest the slow the slow coats would run ahead and that that was I remember that. So uh, but it's, it's a wonderful evening and uh, we're certainly having a good time meeting up with everyone. My married name, um, I, now I go by Sarah Bleshwood. I married a German. But my name when I went to early school was Sadie McDade or Sadie Rowe. Can you tell us any stories that Archie can remember about the early school? Um, what did you do at school that they might do? What were you good at at the What was I good at? Oh boy. Songs or writing or um, anything you liked to do? I enjoyed most things in school, but I particularly enjoyed math. And the only thing I can remember um, that I thought was um, interesting, that you might be interested in, was uh, in summertime it was really warm. Master Gallagher used to send the boys swimming down by Blashy. And the girls were all sent up the river from City Coil so the boys could get naked to the swimming. Um, I have a broken finger from chasing boys in school. Gallica used to go down to City Coils for lunch and we were supposed to behave and stay outside. Well, of course, boys won't do what they're told, so they ran through the school. Of course, I chased after them. Well, they threw the window up and went through, and as I went to go through after them, I mean, I can't resist a challenge. So I went to go through after them, and the sash came down, and I had a broken finger ever since. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> Where are you now? Sure. I'm living in Bellevue, Washington. It's a little town about a population of about 100,000, just about 10 miles east of Seattle, south of Vancouver, British Columbia. How long are you there? I've been there about 35 years. Prior to that, I lived in Canada for five years in Hamilton, Ontario. Prior to that, I um, lived in, uh, in and around Glasgow for five years. I did nursing in Glasgow and then midwifery down in Ayrshire. And after that, I went to Canada. That's where I met my husband. Did you ever see yourself coming back to love here again? Uh, I enjoy coming back to visit. But to live, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I like it too much where I'm at right now. Thank you very much. I'm Charlie McDeer, and my parents are both from Elise. My daddy was from Turk, called McDeer, and my mother was from Lower Elise. Her name was McDeer, Tess Row. My daddy was James from Turk, and um, they both were named McDeer. My mother married a man called McDeer, and indeed, my grandmother before her. She also married a man, McDade, so I'm McDade through and through. And I went to the school, but I was never on the roll in the school, but I was sent, as it were, with the scholars. Uh, maybe, in a sense, I was sent down over the road. <laughs> because I came down from Derry, where I was reared in Derry, uh, to be on holidays with my grandparents in Lower Ellis with Jimmy and Sarah Rowe and Old Kate and Turk and Charlie's John, my Uncle John. Uh, and from time to time we weren't sort of uh, productive, as it were. So we were sent to the school and I went to school uh, in Ellis on a number of occasions and I was in Jane Kelly's class on two or three occasions when I was sent there and then I was in Master Gallagher's class on two or three different occasions and well, my generation is Packy Kelly, Oney Kelly, Hudson Dunney, Studdy Rowe, Mary Doherty, uh, Dennis Grant and Dennis Coyle, and Paddy Coyle, Liam Coyle and these people I, I just I, I idolise them and, and I, I have a great affinity to the others and I, I go back from time to time. Uh, I go back, maybe not as often as I should, but I just love the others. I love the other people and I, I am very conscious of my background and uh, I'm so delighted to be here tonight and I think it's a tremendous success and thank you very much for speaking to me. This is Rosalie and I'm Brady. Brady is married to Tommy Dunning. Are you enjoying the night? We don't want to go home. That's we great. Home. We don't want to go home. We just want to see everybody. And we haven't seen half the people yet. And it's half past 12. You want to keep moving around the music? I know. I know. We're just starting to go home. It's just starting to go home. Yes, yes. What kind of life was it like for you? Do you remember anything? Remember Mummy boiling a goose egg and dividing it between us three, three of the youngest, on our bread. Before we went to school, she boiled one goose egg and put it on the bread, and I still get that taste of the goose egg on the bread. I remember snow in the winter, which was so severe that we, it would be four or five weeks before we could actually get out of the house to get fresh milk or fresh food, just sort of staples like flour and my parents salted herrings to last us through the winter, the mutton was salted and the hams were cured and that saw us through the winter because we literally could not get out of the house because of the snow. I loved school, I loved learning, <coughs> and all my classmates thought I was a know-it-all little madam. And 
Get a skillet. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. My memories of the Lee School are where uh, I was at the Lee School. And uh, it's a great place. I remember Master Lachlan leaving the Lee School. That's one of the first things I remember. We had Mrs. McDermott, the teacher, and she was fantastic. <laughs> It was great. I didn't particularly like Pastor Lachlan, but he was very cross for the juniors, you know. But um, Mrs. Grant was a good teacher, and, and Owen Gallagher was, was fantastic. Yeah, I have great memories of the list group. Seamus Kelly. Dan, 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 Dan Kelly, certainly. Scotland. In fact, they were all good memories because at the end of the day, like when you stop and think about it, the Dunnigan put us on the road that we're on the day. Like, he, he steered us the right way. You got an education at least. Well, you, sometimes you get more of an education going home from school than when you got out of school, but I've got to give Tommy Dunnigan his dues. Like, he, he set the whole lot of us on the road. That, We've got to thank him for a lot of what we are here today, like. And at the end, at the end, of the, it's, it's nice to be here tonight, like, and see all the people here. A lot of the faces I've forgot, like, but the, in the same sense of the word, like, they've all done all right for themselves. Like, it makes you proud to come from the life. As somebody says, when you went to the life school, you learned the right way. A lot of them went to school to hard knock, but it was an education going to LA school. When you went to LA school, you go anywhere in the world. That's, that's true enough. Right. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, you're more than welcome.
ladies and gentlemen, just stay where you are because this is the last we set of the evening. And it's all for me, girl. Me jolly, jolly, girl. It's all for me, beer and tobacco. Or a stento, me dear. Or a cigarette. together for, well, about 60 years now, you know, we went about for about four years. You get cooked down for four years, you're allowed that, no less than four years. I'll have to leave you, because this man's been done. And he's, and he's rushing home. Correct, so, he's rushing home just the same as it was done 60 years ago. <laughs>
Bye. 